Good morning, princess. <laughs> Good morning, baby. <laughs> we are going out today. This is our second day in Atlanta, but it's kind of feeling like our first day because our second day, our first day was an uh, interesting day. It was a hot mess, Atlanta. Um, but today, our goal is we want to try out some more soul food restaurants simply because Atlanta is the home of soul food, in my opinion. In my opinion. And so, Jay wants to go to a, ba a Balinese restaurant. No. Yeah, it looked good. It said... We're not in Bali. You want Bali? We're going to go to Bali. My thing is, we are in the Mecca. Oh, so that means the you're going to have Chick-fil-A and... Um... We are in the mecca of the civil rights movement, soul food, black people. We doing black things. We don't have a lot of soul food in our neck of the woods back home. And I'm talking about Northern Virginia. I'm not necessarily talking about D.C. or deep down in Maryland. I'm talking about Northern Virginia. So we're going to do soul food and we're going to compare and we're going to contrast. Let's see what happens. Let's get out there. First of all, we got to check to see how does valet parking work here. Mm -hmm. Do we have to pay each time we come and go? Or are we good for 24 hours? What's, what's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. Atlanta has a unique place in that history, thanks to the Busy Bee Cafe, opened in 1947 by Lucy Jackson, aka Miss Lucy. It was a place Martin Luther King Jr. and other civil rights icons loved coming to. MLK was said to enjoy the ham hocks in particular. In the 1970s, Miss Lucy sold the business to two Auburn Avenue businessmen, but they were not very successful in keeping the menu up to par. That was when the Gates family bought the restaurant in 1981. Tracy Gates, the daughter of the family, started working and focusing on the restaurant when she came of age in 1987. She once said, I always keep an elder cook on staff who is usually in their 60s and 70s because I tend to run into challenges with the products, with the way they grow them now. What they're famous for now, however, is their fried chicken. And that recipe came from the Gates family specifically, Tracy's grandmother. So y'all, we ordered our food and we're sharing. We ordered a two-piece fried chicken that comes with two sides. And we ordered an extra side of dressing and an extra side of carrot souffle. And we ordered a peach cobbler. When she told me the price, I thought I ordered the whole peach cobbler, the whole pie. Y'all, the food came to like $51. So be prepared. Be prepared. Because I was like, wait a minute, did we order two things? Like two meals? But yeah, so $51 was a little pricey, but we're going to see if the price is worth it, okay? So we're going to meet y'all back in the car because the dining room is still closed. So we're going to sit in the car and eat, and then we're going to continue our adventures from here. All right? All right. <laughs> y'all. We got the Food. We got the food. Fifty dollar meal. Fifty fifty minute wait. <laughs> Ooh, child, I got a headache. Oh, baby. Mm. We gotta hurry up and do this because the camera might get hot because it's sitting in the sun. So let's hurry up and just start tasting a little bit, and then we can turn y'all off. Ooh, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I know I got a whole headache. So. Oh, what is this? See, mm, very sweet. This looks like it's the. Uh, oh, this is the cobbler. They knew it was for us, like share to give us two. Oh, they so cute. They so cute. Oh, this is the dressing. This is the size, the sizes that the sides come in. This is the, the carrot size. souffle. Mm-hmm. And this is the. This is the meal. And this is the peach cobbler. Mm. Technically, this is all enough food for like two people. All right, let's take the got, chicken. We got two cornbreads. I thought there was lollipops. <laughs> right, let's taste the chicken. Here's here's the chicken. It's it's kind of light skinned. Oh, hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. 
All right, the chicken's good. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. It's well seasoned. So maybe the forks. Press out the fire. They're hot. You definitely don't have to put anything on it. Mm-hmm. It's not too salty, but it's seasoned perfectly. Would you try it? Green. The greens? Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Doesn't have too much mm. sugar in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, Their or. greens are kind of sweet, the collards. I like the taste of the greens. It's like a sweet green versus a tangy, vinegary green. All right, so macaroni and cheese, baby, did you try it? Yeah, I, I, I like the, the taste. Like, it's like the bakey taste to it. Like, mm -hmm. like it's not original, like, cheesy. It's mm. like, the starchy taste you're saying, uh -huh. like, it, it tastes like like the cheeses they use. I don't, I it's don't. good, though. I like... Compared to yesterday, compared to Old Lady Gangs, what you thinking? Oh, I don't remember. Because <laughs> I feel like Old Lady Gang, and this one is almost the same, right? Well, these ones are sweeter than Old Lady Gang's. But Old Lady Gang's was good, too. That one was good, too. So what about the Mac? Mmm. I feel like I prefer these greens. These greens stay similar to mine. The way I make greens. I guess we're about to try something different. Yeah. <laughs> Carrot souffle. We had souffle yesterday, right? Yesterday we had the yams. The yam souffle? We had sweet sweet potato yams yesterday. Oh. Or sweet, yeah. The color looks nice. <sighs> this one is carrot souffle. So we decided to try something different that's not normally... All right, baby. That's not normally normal or no, the norm. So this is what, sweet potato? Sweet soup? potato. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like. Not too sweet. So a sweet potato, that's almost like done in a way that you would do a sweet potato, like sweet potatoes or yams. Mm. Mm. It's worth, this one it's is worth all the money. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's this? Is this dessert? No. That's the um, dressing. Or oh, dressing. Or or stuffing, depending on where you come from. Oh, that has gravy in it. Oh, so that's real. Um, you're sitting on top of the dashboard. I feel like it was. So this is liquidy. It has like gravy. Alright. Yeah. Mmm. This mm. is good. Mm-hmm. What's that? What's that? Cranberry sauce? Mm -hmm. Got cranberry in it. So it has a little bit of cranberry sauce. To give you that sweet and tang that that tangy and savory. That sweet and savory combination. Alright, let's do the pie. Because I think that camera's about to overheat. We can do the pie when we do the pie. All right, so turn that off. Mm. All right. Y'all hear that crunch? Mm. Y'all hear that crunch? Baby, you gotta make when you make chicken. You gotta make chicken like this at the house. And then let me tell y'all something else. You know they all right with me. Texas Pete hot sauce. Yes, everybody knows Texas Pete is the best hot sauce. The thing that I don't care for as much, this cornbread. It's not sweet. Some people put their cornbread in their greens, and some people don't like a sweet cornbread, but yeah, it's not sweet. <laughs> Y'all, we feasted. Look at this, not a crumb. Not a crumb. We ate it all. We ate all of the things, okay? So I'm going to say, you know what? I feel like I would recommend 
this place, Busy Bees, over Old Lady Gang. Now, Old Lady Gang is, is decent too. It's not bad. It just wasn't wow. But if you had a pick, so far I would recommend Busy Bees. But remember, y'all, we eating in the car. Now, that's something. We eat in the car and I would still recommend this place. <laughs> now, this one right here was a no-go for me. I tried it twice. So, look, I'll show you. So, I'm decided I'm not going to keep messing with that. Jay spilled muffin in the bat in the thing. So he done took his, look it. He done took his sock off <laughs> to, to use it to sweep the floor. This guy. It's my like muffin. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then you gonna put it back, and then you gonna put it back on. Time to try the dessert. Y'all a little cricket. Hold on. Peach cobbler. Baby, where's my spoon? Straight up from the ATL. Babe, where's my spoon? Busy B. Where's my spoon? Did you put it in a trash bag? Yeah. You put it in a trash bag? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to redo it? No, I'm good. all yelling. Where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? <laughs> Fat girl problems. <laughs> Let me hear the end. Peach cobbler. Baby, where's my spoon? Straight up from the ATL. Babe, where's my spoon? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta write that in the in the words. Mm -hmm. This girl, don't call me fat girl though, because some people might not like that. I mean, don't say like fat girl problems. <laughs> say greedy girl. That's more acceptable, right, y'all? Greedy girl, because I sure was like, y'all. Productions was about to stop. Where's my spoon? <laughs> And we had the we had the peach Souffle. cobbler bread pudding yesterday. Oh, peach cobbler bread pudding. The flavors are there. It's solid. It's supposed to, it tastes like how it Cobbler, yeah, I think I really like more of a peach cobbler like pie because I like, like pie, right? this is a cobbler. So the cobbler is like when you have the pie crust almost like Much thinner. yeah, more like bready. But I like the hard pie crust. Like I like that hard. Oh, what? Like you like it as a pie instead of like this? Mm. -mm. I like a mixture. I have an aunt who used to make it like a mixture where you would have that soft doughy bread, but you also have moments of the hard pie crust. But the flavors are awesome. Oh, this is good. And the thing about this is we can save it. We don't have to eat it all now because it doesn't have to be refrigerated. <laughs> Babe. You want to eat it all now? Eat it all now. You want to save it? You can save it. You haven't even finished eating. You said we can save it. And then you look at me. Because he's going to be so full. We ain't going to make it to another restaurant. <laughs> for the rest of the day. This is like uh, man versus food. It's good though. They got like whole peach. I definitely prefer this than the that peach cobbler bread pudding. I oh, with the whipped this. cream? Yeah. It would have been so much better if it had it been with ice cream. And it was dry, right? Dry. Yeah, it was just, it was just, uh, yeah. I wouldn't. An ice cream party would have. Would have set it off better. Instead of globs of whipped cream. Yeah, whipped cream cheaper. Yeah, they cheated. <laughs> They're better than the one from Tennessee? I think so. Yeah, me too. We went to the pie factory in Tennessee, in Nashville. All right, let's go save. So you're done. Okay. You can take it from me. <laughs> take one more bite.
Yeah, I'm about to be over the top. Woo! But, I'm talking about Jay. I'm about to woo, be done. Yeah, I probably got to take a walk. So hopefully, mm. we, we work up our appetite. Mm, mm, mm. I'm good, though. I'm not stuffed. That was good. Uh-huh. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been